In all of my solutions, I like to create a button bar right below the header inside the body part of features that work directly on the content inside here. In other words, this is a navigation here, right? This navigates you around inside the solution. I want to have buttons here that do things like create a new company, delete a company, duplicate a company. Who knows what I might have in there, but it acts on the data. This is navigation. So to do that, we're going to have to make some more room. I'm going to come into layout mode, double click on my master detail layout, make it 18. That's how I figured that it's going to require. I'm going to take this. Whoops, I scrolled too fast there. Move this all the way down so it matches up with that. I believe I got it matched up with this one. Not quite right, but we'll fix that in a second. And then we'll make this about the same amount of movement. Move this down. I'm going to hold down the shift key when I hit the arrow keys, and then I'll move it 10 points at a time. And I might move stuff around a little bit more, but I'm making enough room here to put a button bar here. So I'm going to get my button, drag it on there, make it just the size I want it. I know the first one's going to be new record. And I'm going to call it new company here so it's really clear for people. And I'll put a nice combination of text and an icon. So I'll come over here and choose this plus sign. I think that's a little too small. Let's try at least 14. That's pretty good. And I think the font size is not too good on that. So I'm going to change that. But let's go and make it do something, a single step. New record. That's it. That's all it has to do. Some scripting is really easy to do. So to change that, let's come in here and change that to a 12 point. That's a little bit more readable. And I like the size here, like it's right there, like where it's located. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. And you see it's offset a little bit. We move it right over here. Get it just the distance I want and duplicate it again. Now it's offsetting exactly the same amount for each one. Now it didn't quite fit across here, that's okay. If it didn't fit across, you gotta make a determination, is that gonna be too much space between each one or should I make the buttons a little bit smaller? I'm gonna say I'm gonna make the buttons a little bit smaller. So move back, delete those, make that button just a little bit smaller like that. Try duplicating again, move it right in there without deselecting. If I deselect, and do that and try to duplicate again, it's going to offset it. And each time it's going to offset the same amount. So what you need to do is make sure that you duplicate, and I'm doing it with the keyboard command now. Get it right there, and then don't deselect it. Then just duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Keep going across. I think I'm going to make not quite what I wanted here. I got too many buttons here, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but again, once you've got it done right, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's undo. Good, it didn't didn't keep that. I'm going to undo it again just to get back to where I was. I didn't mean to hold down that keyboard command. Let's try that. Duplicate right in there and a whole bunch of them. See how they fit inside there. Now that's just right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this one over there. It matches up with that. That one matches up with that side. Now what we want to do is select all of them and tell it to distribute space. It's right down here in the first tab of the inspector. Make sure you remember you can show it right here. And you'll see the distribute right here. If you hold over, it'll say what, where it does it, but the picture is usually good enough. And you can see how now it's distributed nicely there. Now, there's a couple, one more thing I'm going to do to this, which is select this and tell these to hover in the middle, meaning I don't want them to stay to the left. I don't want them to stay to the right. I want them kind of stay in the middle. You'll see what that does when I when I get out of uh, layout mode and go to browse. Let's fix some of these. Now these all should do nothing. So I'm going to put in undefined for right now. Copy it. Take that off. Do nothing. And we don't want that icon. I'm probably going to switch it just to text here. Okay, nothing. Paste. Sometimes you don't do things quite as efficient as you like them to be, so. There we go, almost done. Oh, I forgot to take the buttons off there, sorry. There we go. 
And then we'll come to this one. We got new company here. Now, this one's going to be duplicate, or dupe is what I think I can fit on there. And we'll put a, an appropriate icon. Let's see if we can find one. Not sure if there was one or not, but we'll find out. You can always import uh, values in here as well. I've done that before. You can actually hit the plus sign and actually import uh, you know, PNGs in here and use them instead. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a plus sign with that circle around it so you guys have the same icons I do. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think there was one with a double plus sign though, I'm remembering. And I may find it later and remind it and change it then. But I'd like to find it now if I can. Ah. Well, there's that one we use for up there. That's not what we want. That'll be confusing. Well, I could be wrong, or I may have just missed it. Oh, there it is. I think that's the one I wanted right there. And I think I'll go with this version of it. That, to me, seems pretty good. Change that to duplicate record. That's it. Simple, simple little thing. I'm trying to put all the functionality that's up here that I want in the status toolbar, because we're going to get rid of that. And, of course, we'll want delete. Go in here, delete that, hit delete record, perfect. We'll make this delete record a little bit more fancy later on, but for right now, what we're just going to do is change the icon to this trash can. Now, I'm going to change that icon. I'm going to come over here and do the appearance and choose, and this is the third icon right here inside the, the inspector. I'm going to choose button icon right here and choose a color such as one of the ones at the top. There's my red color, so it's really clear what deletes. I'll do the same thing with new company. I'll say, okay, I want to change the button icon to a nice green. And we don't have a nice green here. That's close enough for me. I want to stick with the colors that have been designed for this theme. That works for me pretty good. It, the, the key here is it's going to attract the person's eye to that area right there. They're going to see that color, and because I don't put a ton of color on here, that green's really going to stand out. Oh, there's a new company. There's a delete company. Those are easy to find and will help the people without using a manual or without using a class or a video you might have created. They'll help them to understand this better, what they can do. Let's take a look at this and see how things react. Let's go and zoom in. I'll probably do the wrong direction. So, yep, I, of course I did, right? Actual size, zoom out. You'll see how these stay centered because they're only locked at the top, not at the left and not at the right. And you can see how things look pretty good here. I'm pretty happy with the way they look. I might fiddle with them outside of this, but you find yourself constantly fiddling with a, you know, a point here, a point there, and, and you know, moving things around. But once you get this designed, you have to stop at some point and say, hey, okay, this is pretty good. I'm going to duplicate this and use this for other layouts. Uh, this is my starting point here. In fact, I already see one little problem here, as I noticed before. This isn't quite where I want it to be, so I'll move this up. There you go, lined up perfectly now. I like that. I'm happy. We'll stick with this.